How you going? Welcome back to Valheim. My name is Brendan and today we are going to be building a sea serpent enclosure and hatching a sea serpent. Now, ever since coming back to Valheim, all I've wanted to do is build, like capture a sea serpent and put it in like a really big enclosure. This year is like our perfect spot for it. So I've got all the workbenches that I'll need, a bunch of stone and iron and stuff like that prepared. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start raising the ground around where the enclosure would go so that I can catch one and keep it. Now, I didn't want to, um, you know, like just make some small, like little pond and just put it in there. I actually wanted like a really cool, like, oh, like a really cool enclosure so that, what? I wanted a really cool enclosure so that it's like heaps of room for the, um, sea serpent to, like, like a proper, like, I don't know, like a, not really like a zoo, but you know what I mean? So. I'm going to make an actually like a pretty big one. It's going to stretch all the way over to where the refinery section is over there. So it'll stretch all the way over to the refinery over there. So I'll just go through and just start raising the ground everywhere that I need, like, you know, the outline, which I may or may not have kind of pre-planned where it's going to go so that I know it does fit. Uh, and then we'll go and catch a sea serpent. But yeah, first things first, I need to just raise up the ground kind of where I want it. And then I will raise it even higher to the maximum that I can and then put in, like build the actual, you know, like walls and, and all that kind of stuff. Now I would have also liked to have bought a bone more as well the uh like ashlands sea serpent but the problem is the bone wall has a ranged attack that i didn't realize so the sea serpent is just gonna have a giant enclosure because when i originally penciled out where this was gonna go like ages ago i didn't i completely forgot that the bone wall had a ranged attack uh yeah any enclosure that i do for a bone wall is just not gonna work so instead the sea serpent is just gonna get a really cool, really big enclosure. All right, anyway, the ring has been done, so that's pretty much how big it's gonna be, which is massive for a sea serpent. Maybe I should do two. I don't know. Either way, uh, for now, that's fine. So what I need to do now is just raise up the max I can, but have it all leveled off. And then from there, I'll do the building on top of. So uh, it's pretty straightforward with that. Uh, actually, I'm gonna do it from the deeper section down here. So that I know what the max height will be. I think that spot right there is probably going to be the lowest that I can, sorry, the highest that I can make it like evenly around the entire thing. I know I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that will be. But basically, that's what that's what you know needs to be done. Raised up the whole way around, like that, and then the actual walls and gate and all that kind of stuff will be built on top of that. I need to go repair my hoe and then. I will finish that. Oh, we know it's on here. But God, it's a very pretty blacksmith. And workshop too. If you want to check out the video building all of this, it's in the uh, previous, uh, previous video before this one. And before that was the portal hub. Anyway. Okay. That is everything done. I even caught a deer for... Oh, sorry. A couple of deers for the sea serpent to snack on. Now, before I put the sea serpent in there, I need to get up these walls that are going to go around it. Uh, all right, anyway, uh, I'm just going to do the front section where the stairs will come up to. 
just so I can figure out like, ooh, figure out the height. All right, and then I will put the iron bars. Yep. Oop. One and two. Now what? Uh, I reckon instead, what I might do actually, it, ah, jeez. That there, but it'll just be iron bar for the first level the whole way around everywhere, I reckon. I reckon that would be better. Yeah, all right, cool, cool, cool. All right, so I'll do that. Now I just need to put stairs up to it because that'll be the lead in. And then on top of that, like it'll, it'll, there'll be like the wooden, like wood plank walk around kind of thing. So this is purely just the wall. Just to give it some uh, strength, I'll just put those I'll put those down either side and they work the stair up to it. Perfect. Making our way down. Question is, how far do I take it down? I'm going to have to make a right turn at some point. Now at this point, only because I want to actually have a building here as well, I'm going to do the right turn. wants to snap there. Cool. And then I can just fill this in and then put the rest of the stairs in. So. Stairs done. Very nice. All right. I just need to do Goddamn damn ball out of here, man. All right. I just need to do the same thing. So metal, what was it? Cage wall. So cage wall along the top and then the grass and window on top of that around the whole thing. And then from there, we'll build the wooden platforms that kind of overlook it. And then after that, all we need to do is just go find a serpent. Easy, right? Well, easy for you guys. You guys don't have to build it or capture the sea serpent. So. All right. So I am just doing the stairs up a bit nicer. Oh. Adding a little bit of wood trim to it so it's not bland and stone. Um, yeah, that's all done. It's good, like later on in the game, because it's so easy to get iron. Also, spawn is going to be a problem. I'm going to need to try and like scatter some crafting tables around, but oh, it's not bad, not bad, but. I'll just get the wood in on the spots. I'm thinking for like the handrails in these individual spots here. But like that. I should do the job. So we've got staircase done, all the walls done, everything. Cool. Um, and then for the actual walkway, I'm just going to do that. And then I'll trim it off. Like that. 
Oh, don't fall. And... Like that. So I do that around the entire thing. And then I'll probably roof it off. I just don't know what roof. I know. I'll figure it out. Maybe... That... What am I missing here? Oh, right. It would be that. I might do that around it. That might be uh that might be a vibe. Yeah, cool. Uh, anyway, in the meantime, I'm going to get all of the flooring done around it. Dude, it is getting full in here, man. The C7 is going to have a bunch of stuff to eat when I get it in there. Get is done. A lot of stuff filling up in here, but all good. I'm going to get this done. And we will then once this, I mean once this is done, we're good to go and get the C7. So we're not far. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So I was, I was just doing building, just getting everything built a bit more. I'm going to have to repair it all again. Um, but it's storming, which means I can now go and get the sea serpent that I want. Um, now the problem is, is that the sea serpent, I'm pretty sure you have to get the sea serpent at nighttime. Otherwise, no, not at nighttime. You need to get it while it's storming. Otherwise it'll despawn. You get a nighttime. If you get one at night time, it will, uh... Jeez, I can't get out there. If you get one at night time, it will just despawn at daytime. So you have to get it while it's storming. And it's not a guarantee that one will spawn when it storms. So I'm just, uh... No! By the time I get out to the open ocean, it's gonna be... Come on. Run. There's the boat. There it is. Oh, I should have grabbed the uh, motor. Oh, well. Can you imagine if I landed in the boat and killed myself? That would have been bad. All right, out to sea. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Quickly. in the oat. No! Does it stop? Don't tell me it stops. It stopped raining. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> no! Is it just raining at the island or something? Was it just raining at the island? Yeah, it's just raining at the... Yeah. The moment I go into the meadows, it starts raining. That's problematic. But if I go chill out by the Leviathan... I don't know if they'll spawn in the meadows. Yeah, it won't. It only spawns in the ocean. How disappointing is that? All right. 
Yeah, it just clears out. Well, that's annoying. Alright. Guess I'll go back and uh, keep doing the build. Actually, you know what? Nah, I'm out here. Oh, no, I'll, I'll go get Mono and then I'll... So I got the wind with me. And then I'll come back out and just wait. I'm going to wait for it to storm. I'm already out. Like, oh, I'm going back anyway. I'll finish, I'll finish the building of that segment and then I'll, I'll get this. I'll catch the C7. I'll be, I'll be smart. Well, it is finished. Not so much. I mean, it's not finished. This gap's still here because I need to have a gap to be able to get the Sea Serpent up, which you can see a ramp because you need, you need a ramp to be able to get the Sea Serpent into the area. So, food is ready for it already. It is raining here, but it's not going to be raining out in the ocean, I don't think. But I'll go out and check. I've also strategically placed um, workbenches around underneath hidden, so it should hopefully avoid, you know, being vis like visible. But it's pretty much it. Like, I, I don't want to go too overboard with the actual appearance of it. I could put in hand railings and stuff like that, but given that it's not a perfect square, like, if I redid this, I'd probably do it like a like a perfect square so that it um it wasn't so bendy because you know some spots that are a little bit rough that you can't really get perfect so that is what it is looks fine it'll do the job all right i'm going to get on the longboat and head out to the ocean let's turn her around we the hell was the ocean? Oh, there we go. Is it still raining or is it clearing out? I'll be cheering if it's still raining. But usually if it's raining in the meadows, it's not going to be raining out in the ocean. Oh, it is raining. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Oh, and it's thunderstorming. Yeah, yeah one's going to spawn. One's going to spawn. I was getting ready to do some serious reading. You know, like... Because I thought it was going to be a while that I would have to wait for a sea serpent, but... Oh, it's perfect. Well, I'll pop this quickly. And then I just need to keep an eye out. Lightning in the distance. Lovely, lovely. The moment I see one, I'll throw my harpoon at it. Jesus. These waves are, some of these waves are huge. Yeah, the moment a serpent pops out, I'll throw my harpoon at it and tow it in. This is literally perfect, perfect timing. I thought because usually if it's raining or storming or whatever in the meadows or whatever the biome is, usually if you go out to the ocean, it'll be different weather out there. So this is good. Just hopefully one spawns. These waves are massive. What the hell is that? I just witness Thor flying through the sky. What? Is Thor in this? Is that like a little random Easter egg that I've never noticed before? Well, the storm's over. That's not ideal. Right. Maybe I'll go somewhere where I haven't been before. See if they'll spawn randomly while I'm there. And at the same time, do some serious reading. Oh, 
Whoa! Found, I found Waldo and the the, the, the the wizard. Oh, no, 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 no. Get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. Oh. Oh, that was dumb. Why did I do that? Whoa! That may have uh, gave me a small fright. Here, sea serpent. How far are we? We're still kind of far. Ow. May as well just keep towing it. I'll just try closer to the castle. Oh man. I obviously ran out of stamina. Oh! That was well timed. stamina get a little closer and let stamina keep regen huh gotcha charge quickly oh that's not good well actually that's not too bad because now i can just you know it's shallow so i can just flee getcha Oh, well, that's not ideal. Oh, is it kind of, I think it's kind of stuck. It might be stuck. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. That's actually worked well. That's worked well. All right, let's just get some stamina and then I'll pull it up the ramp. Oh, wait, no. I thought it was about to run. Yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on. Up you get, come on. Do you still move? Interesting. Uh, I need stamina. Come. Wee, stop, stop playing around. Come here. I'm just, I'm letting this damn regen. This definitely wasn't the best spot that I could bring it up, but I'm going to try and make it work. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come on, come on, come on. Oh, we are close. We are close. We are close. Uh, maybe I need to release it. I might need to release it. Where's it going? Oh yeah. It can, oh, that is not, it can actually get out there. Oh, 
Oh, maybe it can't. All right. Oh, let's stay there, let's stay there. Serpent, you're not making it easier. Like, I just, I just want to get you in. You're in, like, it's a nice enclosure. Get up here. I thought I was so well prepared. Oh. Oh, wait. Come on, come on, come on. More stamina. There we go. I think that's enough. Let's get it up. Come on. No! Wait, am I gonna jump up the side now? Alright, 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 That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yes. Eat me. Eat me. You can eat me because you know why? Because you can't escape now. Go on, eat me. Steve the sea serpent. What's up, Grayling? You want to die too? Oh, no, mind. I drowned. All uh, right. Serpent's Aiden. Oh. That worked perfectly. But no, it didn't. It was it was it was kind of messy, but you know, we got there in the end. Alright, Steve the Sea Serpent, where you at? Can I see you from the castle? Nah, not really. Okay, so Steve should be here. Ah, uh, Steve is here. Steve can't escape. Oh no. I don't know what that was, but he's dead now. Hey, look at Steve go, he's zooming. Guys, it worked, we got a sea serpent. I am thoroughly happy. That worked, you know, it worked perfectly, went exactly as planned. Nothing went wrong. All good. I'm gonna get dressed quickly. Man, Steve chilling. All right, Steve the sea serpent, that's what we got. All right, cool. All I need to do now is just put in some paths. Hide some more crafting tables around and like, you know, plant some trees and stuff like that. So that things don't spawn there. Just roof this off and hey, we done. We Gucci. We got Steve. Steve is a member of the crew. We have Billy in the treasury in the dungeon. Oh, for those of you who haven't seen Billy, I'll show you Billy. But yeah, we got we got Steve now, the sea serpent in the pool. And we've got Billy down in the dungeon, which all my torches are at because I've been doing so much building. I haven't actually topped everything up, but Billy down in the dungeon. What's up, Billy? Oh, you're actually angry for a change. That's weird. Usually he doesn't see me. It's the first time he's ever seen me. That's cute. Anyway, that's Billy. Billy lives here. He kind of just spawned on the island while we were like, you know, while the castle was building one day. He's just, yeah, he's just part of the crew now. This is his room. He gets to chill out with all the treasure. Ah, uh, leave you be, Billy. That's weird. Since forever, he's never seen us, but well, now he sees me. Now he's all, he's all angry. He's now realized. He's like, you have me trapped. <laughs> all right, cool. I'm going to finish this. Is he hitting stuff? Yeah, I think he's hitting stuff. Uh, Billy, stop. 
All right, he's chilled out. Billy's chilled out. He let his he let all his anger out. He's all good now. All right, I'm gonna finish the enclosure. I should really put lands around. I'll finish the enclosure, which I think I can hear it swimming around. So I'll go and finish the enclosure, and then we're done. We have a new pet. Oh, there it is. He's really trying to get out. He doesn't want to be in there. But you'll never leave me. What was the damage on the boat? How did the boat get damaged? Oh, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. All right, cool. All right, let's finish this. Man, this is just like seriously looking so cool. This island, this island is getting so full. There's so much stuff. Got our lands in, the path. Nice little staircase up. Trees came up as well. Stop serpent. Yeah, 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 I know. Duh, Steve, you can't do anything. <laughs> this is cool, though. We got a pet Steve. I really wish I could have got a bone more, but... The thing has projectiles. It would have just destroyed everything, but... This is how you get a serpent. How good is that? All right, I need to go have a look at uh, look at it from somewhere up high. I need to find something up high. I don't know if I'll be able to see it from the lighthouse. I may, it may be out of range. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I'll find somewhere high that can see it. Yeah, as expected, lighthouse couldn't see it, but it's visible from uh, the castle tower at least, which is good. That's sunrise or sunset. I think it's sunrise. Anyway, that is how you get a pet sea serpent. Now I'm going to call the video here. I'm probably going to do one more, which will be building a mage tower so I can put my a tier refinery and uh, sorry, a tier like the crafting table for the tier stuff in the actual mage tower along with all the mage gear. And then I'm probably going to get back to actually progressing the story a little bit more. So still need to take out that Ashlands fort whatever additional stuff that's also done in the Ashlands and then also take on the boss there are still a few more builds that I want to do I want to do one here for Did this tree just pop up then I think a tree just popped up um I still want to do the fish pond here and I want to do the um weapon and armor and trophy building here but the mage tower is going to go here. It's going to be pretty cool. So I'll do that next video. So next thing that comes out, I'll be building like a sick mage tower. Probably out of all marble as well. But it'll look good. But yeah, anyway, that's for next time. Now, if you haven't already, make sure that you hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any of these future videos. I also have a bunch of really cool stuff planned for once this playthrough is done and these like, you know, typical builds are all done. I have some really cool stuff coming up. So Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Hit the thumbs up button, drop a comment, all that kind of stuff. Join the Discord, link is in the description below. Anyway, thank you very much for hanging around to the very end, and I will catch you in the next one. See you later.